Bonjour la classe, c'est Madame Passingham. Hello everyone, it's Mrs Passingham here to teach you some more French. Today we're starting a new topic in French called Le Retour de Printemps, which is translated to the return of spring, which is kind of what's happening to us now in the world. Aujourd'hui, c'est le 23 février. Today is the 23rd of February and we're going to be thinking about recalling and using vocabulary about the weather that you learnt in year four. So today what we're going to do is a lot of écouter et répéter, listen and repeat to the vocabulary that I teach you. And then you're going to do an activity at the end of this session to practice the vocabulary again, hopefully with other people in your house. See if you can teach them how to say the phrases in French. So let's begin. The first one we are going to learn is this one. Il fait chaud. It is hot. Okay, we can see the man looking very hot in the picture there. So, écoutez et répétez. Listen and repeat. Il fait chaud. And again. Il fait chaud. Finalement. Once more. Il fait chaud. Excellent. Moving on to the next one. Il fait froid. It is cold in this next picture. Écoutez et répétez, listen and repeat. Il fait froid. Il fait froid. Il fait froid. I'm going to repeat it three times so you can have a go at saying it three times. If you need to practice it further, please pause the video and go back and try it again. So just to recap, we have il fait chaud and il fait froid. Next, we have il fait beau. It's a fine day. It's fine weather. Écoutez et répétez, listen and repeat. Il fait beau. Il fait beau. Il fait beau. So now we have il fait chaud. Il fait froid. Il fait beau. There we go. Lots of repetition. The more you practice it, the better you'll get at it. Right, next one. Il fait mauvais. It's bad weather. Écoutez et répétez. Listen and repeat. Il fait mauvais. Il fait mauvais. Il fait mauvais. Il fait chaud. Il fait froid. Il fait beau. Il fait mauvais. Excellent stuff. Well done. Next one. Il fait du soleil. It's sunny. The man's got his shades on there so he knows he's protecting his eyes from the sun. Écoutez et répétez. Listen and repeat. Il fait du soleil. Il fait du soleil. Il fait du soleil. Now we've already come across this word soleil in our last unit of word, didn't we? When we were learning about the planets, we had the sun. Du soleil. Excellent. So now we have il fait chaud, il fait froid, il fait beau, il fait mauvais, il fait du soleil. Next one. Il fait du vent. This one is a windy picture, okay? It's a bit windy. Écoutez et répétez. Il fait du vent. Il fait du vent. Il fait du vent. Excellent. Now we have il fait chaud. Il fait froid. Il fait beau. Il fait mauvais. Il fait du soleil. Il fait du vent. Finalement, finally, il pleut. It's raining. Écoutez et répétez. Listen and repeat. Il pleut. Il pleut. Il pleut. Okay, one last time. Let's go through them all. Il fait chaud. 
Il fait froid. Il fait beau. Il fait mauvais. Il fait du soleil. Il fait du vent. Il pleut. Now, if you feel you want to practice any more of those again, then please go back and have another go at practicing. The more times you say it, the more confident you're going to get at saying it. If you're happy with that, then let's move on to what we're going to do next. Now, there's a couple more things that I need to teach you in order for you to be able to do the activity at the end. The first one is this question, which is, Quel temps fait-il? If you can see, I've written here exactly how you say it. Quel temps fait-il? That's how you would say it. So it's quel temps fait-il? The question is, what is the weather? You're going to need that for the activity that comes next. So, écoutez et répétez. Listen and repeat. Quel temps fait-il? Quel temps fait-il? Quel temps fait-il? Excellent. Now, another one you need to know. This is another way of saying it's sunny, which we have learnt. Rather than saying il fait du soleil, you can also say... Il y a du soleil to mean it's sunny. So, écoutez et répétez. Il y a du soleil. Il y a du soleil. Il y a du soleil. Excellent. And finalement, finally, this is the last one you're going to need for the activity that's following. Il y a du nuage. It's cloudy. We've seen a lot of that lately in our weather, haven't we? Il y a du nuage. It's cloudy. Écoutez et répétez. Il y a du nuage. Il y a du nuage. Il y a du nuage. Excellent. Now, what I would like you to do for the rest of this session is I'd like you to have a go at making this weather fortune teller. Okay, the instructions are on the sheet as well that you have. When you put it together, this will be the question that you see at the top. It's the question that I just taught you. Quel temps fait-il? Meaning, what is the weather? And then you've got pictures of the weather. And you've also got uh, the weather in itself. Oh, I've just spotted another one that I haven't taught you. Il neige. It's snowing. Il neige. Écoutez et répétez. Il neige. Il neige. Let me just go through the pronunciation of them for you again. So when you're playing the game, if you need to practice, you can listen to me again. So the question is, quel temps fait-il? Then we have, il fait froid. It's cold. Il y a du soleil. It's sunny. Il y a des nuages. It's cloudy. Il fait beau. It's sunny. It's a good day. Il fait mauvais. It's bad weather. Il pleut. It's raining. Il neige. It's snowing. Il fait chaud. It's hot. So there you go. Have a go at creating your own little fortune teller using the instructions and see if you can ask people the questions in the house. If you have no one that you can ask the question to, just ask yourself the question and then answer and just practice saying all that weather vocabulary in French. Excellent. Uh, until next time, au revoir.